channel is Jordan on my channel it's just Jordan and today I'm doing a very new thing for my channel uh, considering I didn't start too long ago this is going to be my first holiday gift guide but I do want to say I was inspired by others telling me that I should do one so I decided to finally give in and provide you guys with a I'm super late gift guide so these gifts are all going to be from amazon they're going to be gifts that are all prime i made sure so that means you're going to get the gift before christmas i mean that is unless you watch this video afterwards but i would think that you wouldn't but yeah so all of the things that i have on this list are going to be two-day shipping so there's something for everyone i have men women uh some of the gifts are unisex so with that being said we're just going to go ahead and get started so I did make a list of everything on uh, an Amazon list. So everything that I'm naming will be linked below by category and that is how I'm going to name everything. So if you're looking for a certain category, then you can just skim on by if that's what you're looking for. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with my favorite category, which is the cozy category. And with quarantine and all of us being queens of quarantine right now, that is something really big. And so I feel like a lot of these gifts will be very useful for people in this time that we are going through and all of these are something that if somebody was to gift them to me then I would be very happy to receive them I also did get together with my mother and I know you guys who watch my channel love my mom so a lot of these are handpicked by my mom and then some of these by me so just wanted to give y'all that little bit of insight but and the first thing I have on my list are these UGG little slippers they are not officially UGG like the UGG UGG slippers that you find on the website but they are the Coolabura slides I hope I'm saying that right they're fuzzy I steal my mom's all the time so she doesn't have like the UGG UGG slides, but she has kind of like the UGG collaboration lower end slides. But they are very comfy. You can wear them around the house. They are very cute and a great alternative to the actual like UGG slippers. With that being said, the next thing I have on my list is the actual UGG slipper, but it is on Amazon, of course, so you can get your two-day shipping. Now, these are the Oh Yeah slides. I don't know why they're called that, but that's just what they're called. My personal favorite are definitely the black ones, the gray ones, and I'm actually really feeling the cheetah ones. These things are absolutely so, so soft. I've tried on some ones. I wish somebody would get me a pair. I'm actually considering getting some like very soon because my slides for around the house are wearing out. But if somebody was to get me one of these, that I wouldn't be mad at them. Next up on the cozy section is some blankets. I love blankets. Everybody in my house love blankets. We have throw blankets everywhere. And the ones that I have on this list are all like cream colored, super cozy. The first one that I have on my list is just this little knit blanket. It is on the lower end, but then again, like not super cheap but like good enough to be good if that makes sense it is a cable knit throw just in an ivory color it would look beautiful on the end of somebody's bed thrown over their couch and of course it's a netflix and chill kind of night on the higher end of the throw blanket we have the ugg blanket y'all i want this blanket but nobody's about to buy me this blanket it's fuzzy and it's like you know those blankets like that you see at tj maxx that are super duper expensive and they're like the furry ones that you just feel they're not super duper expensive just wouldn't you don't feel right about buying a blanket that much for yourself but trust me whoever you give that to if they are a person that likes to chill out and they a little on the bougie side they would love 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 an ugg blanket also threw in a heated blanket because that's something that i've been kind of on the market for i've been peeping them at target but i haven't really been liking their designs but i did find one on amazon and the reason that i'm looking into a heated blanket i'm one of those people that just always keeps super cold hands and super cold toes so if you have someone like that in your life then that is definitely a great gift for them okay last up in the cozy quarantine cutie section i I have the satin pajama set so I've got the shorts set and then I also have the long set so the shorts one is kind of for people like me you live down south it's a little hot but you want to go to sleep in your pajamas without falling out and then the longer ones are definitely for people either a they're colder natured 
or they live somewhere that is super cold. So if you know somebody, you got a friend, she walking around her crusty, her crusty pajamas, then get her these, okay? So she can, she can be a little bougie. She don't have to walk around in that big t-shirt she got from college and her sweatpants. You know, let her spice it up a little bit sometimes. It just, it just hits different when you wake up in the morning and you get to go make your breakfast in matching pajamas. It's definitely like a whole different vibe. Okay, veering away from the cozies, like clothes wise, we are getting into candles. Now, women and men alike, I know, just love candles. And the people in my house, like the women in my life, oh my gosh, it's almost obnoxious how much they like candles. And you, you would just never think that they'd pay that much for a candle, but they, they will. And it's, it's perplexing to me, okay? But because of that, I do have two different candles on my list. I have a lower end one and I have a higher end one. The higher end one is the Diptyque candle. We do have one in this house, super cute. But if you have somebody that's a little on the wild side, they may light it. I mean, it's up to them, it's their gift. But personally, we have one on our side of the table that we just never ever light and it's literally for aesthetic purposes. But if you are looking for something that, you know, somebody can use, they won't feel bad about using, even though the other one smells good, there is the lower end one. This one is the Lulu Candles in Black Amber. I did pick both like super neutral colored candles because not only I feel like candles shouldn't just smell good, they definitely should look good laying around. I don't know about you, but like the Bath and Body Works watermelon candle, just don't be that cute in the house. <laughs> so you definitely, I feel like personally, want to go for something that's not only like smelling good, but it will look nice in someone's house. And if you go for neutral colors, you don't have to be afraid of them not ever putting your candle out. Because nine times out of ten, no matter what their house looks like or whatever theme they have going on, a neutral candle will probably fit best. It's definitely your best, safest bet. And I feel like this year, neutral colors are just hitting different for everybody so i feel like you cannot go wrong with either one of these candles another thing that i added to the list if you feel like you do have a candle lover in your house but maybe you're trying to veer them away from something like that or maybe you just want to do something different maybe everybody gets them candles one thing that we got my mom a while back was it for mother's day i think it was for mother's day it was the vitruvi stone diffuser it's super gorgeous it's like a pottery like literal diffuser so instead of the normal ones that you see that look kind of like machinery this one looks just very neutral kind of like a vase and then it it just diffuses whatever scents of droplets that you put into it so amazon does have the vitruvi on there it also does have the little scents that you can put in there but i definitely think that is a super great option either a if someone's not a huge candle lover or b if you're trying to maybe try something different for them it's honestly very relaxing like when you go to sleep you can just kind of hear it just like in the background so overall it like gives you a great aroma in the room and the sound it's like really kind of like asmr like relaxing type of thing but yeah i highly highly recommend it next up on my list i had to add this to the list because if you know me you know i'm a little bookworm but i know everybody's not a bookworm and that's okay okay because i can be both of these so i have the bookworm books and i have the fashion girl books so if the girl likes to read or the guy likes to read, boom. If the guy or girl doesn't like to read but they want it as decoration, boom, got that too. I'm personally both, so. But the first book that I have on my list is the book Cast. It's actually a part of Oprah's book club. I'm in the midst of reading this book right now. It's basically just about like the foundation of America and how it's you know basically been built on the backs of black people and it's in a caste system and it kind of really just gets into the depth of why black people are where they are and why certain things are just the way they are you really just have to read it to really understand i don't want to say too much not like a spoiler but i feel like this is the kind of book if you kind of just tell people what it's about people automatically won't understand, you know? So I feel like the best thing I can do is just tell you to read this book. That way, you know, nobody's going crazy in the comments. Even if you have a friend uh, who is trying to get more into the Black Lives Matter thing, or someone who really just doesn't understand, or even someone black who really just doesn't understand, is 
very, very interesting. So I highly recommend it, whether you are an ally or whether you are a black person, you know, trying to get to know more about, you know, how we started here. Next up, away from the heavy stuff, I have an Alexander McQueen book. That book is beautiful. It is all black, it's textured. It would look gorgeous on somebody's bookcase, somebody's coffee table, side table, wherever. It's really good for the person who is a lover of aesthetics, neutrals, minimalism, or just decor or fashion in general. It can fill so many spaces. Okay, keeping up in the fashion realm of books, I have the Chanel book. Now this one is definitely cheaper than the Alexander McQueen book. The aesthetics are not quite as like amazing as the Alexander McQueen book, but that's only because it does have the plastic wrapping off of it. But one thing that people are doing is taking the plastic wrapping off of their books and just putting them up as that. So it is only $30, it's super still very much pretty. And then of course, if they want to, they can look through the book, but regardless, it will look great on somebody's coffee table and it's not as expensive as the Alexander McQueen one. Okay, another book that I have on this list is a more of a, I like to read kind of book. So uh, this book is called More Than Enough by Elaine Welteroff and I'm currently almost done with this book actually, but I have been very much loving it. So if you've got like a woman of color in your life, uh, she's like maybe her own girl boss, she may be going through college, anything like that, it is a very good book. Now it's not like a self-help kind of book, but it's kind of like a watching somebody else go through their journey kind of book. I even feel like that you can relate a lot from it, even though it's not your story and I haven't went through the same exact things that this woman has went through or even went down the same career path. You just see similar things and you see how she dealt with them, what she learned from it. And it really just kind of helps you have insight in your own life. I highly recommend if you have any girls in your life that are just trying to make it y'all it's it's rough out here right now so i really think that this is a good read anyways just because of what 2020 has been looking like going back to the fashion side of books i also added the dior book it is a beautiful gray color again it fits in with a minimalistic type of look and aesthetic so it would be very easy to match it's not as high as the alexander mcqueen book but it is um a little higher than the Chanel one. So it's a nice medium ground, but definitely a staple in designer books. Last on my book list, I kind of feel like I should put these together. Um, my mom gave me the great idea of making this, like maybe if you have like a couple you know of in your life, uh, whether they're married, not married, boyfriend, girlfriend, but people like who are just trying to get to success, trying to be successful or already are successful. I think a very good like power couple type of book or books in this case would definitely be the Michelle Obama book and Barack Obama's new book. I personally have the Michelle Obama book and I have read the book. It is very insightful on what her life was like and I love that it's not, it's just not as, you know, it's like not stuffy at all. You just realize just how fun Michelle Obama is and you get to know her a little better. And then also I have her husband's book. That's so weird saying her husband when he's literally President Obama, but his latest book and it's called A Promised Land. I have not read it, but I hear it's very good. It actually is top rated right now. And I feel like the Becoming book by Michelle and then, excuse me, Miss Obama and then uh, his book actually they just look like they go together it's like they like sat in the same designing room and maybe they did that on purpose it's actually pretty cute but that would be a really cool gift for um, a husband and wife to put on their bookshelf to put in their little personal offices maybe you have a woman in your life who that would be great for or a man in your life who that would be great for but either way I think that's a great gift okay getting away from fashion books and nerdy books in general but we're gonna get a little bit into the game section because again we are in quarantine and this is not why I'm doing this, all of these, but it's just what's been relevant to us this year and that happens to be quarantine items. So I feel like it will be continue to be relevant for the people in your lives. So I do have a couple of games on this list. Uh, the first game I have is called Black Card Revoked. Uh, this is a game that we uh, have played a maybe a couple times, and we have it in our house. I wish we could have played it more, but we don't often have company. But this is a game you definitely could play maybe on Zoom with someone, or if you do have family over, definitely for Christmas holidays, it's super fun. 
but yeah it's called black card revoked you basically just pull through the cards and you have teams and the people are supposed to answer the multiple choice questions and it is surrounded around black culture and so it said if you don't win or you're not getting a lot of the answers right you get your black card revoked the other card game type of game that I have that you can play at the house with your friends, if you're bold with your family, is called Truth or Drink. This is actually something that I probably will be adding to cart when I finally am able to get around some friends to play it. But it does have certain categories that you can play and obviously, I mean, the rules are kind of like in the game, Truth or Drink. So, I mean, you can go from the end of, you know, the more hardcore, you know you're going to be a lot or you know you just trying to sip a little bit but that just sounds like a really fun game i think it's a great idea as a gift or even if you just want to get it for christmas day or new year's to just do with your family and friends but next up on my list i have is for the people in your life that do like to drink maybe not i don't mean like a lot they may like to drink casually but this is just two super nice gift sets for them so one i have this super cute wine glass set uh, it's very bougie very modern it doesn't look like any wine glasses i have seen um like when i get room to have my own little wine collection this is something that i definitely will be adding and then the other thing is for if you got you know a big lick drinker maybe the man in your house or your boyfriend whoever fiance any of those there is the decanter set it's so nice it's just super cool for when you have somebody over you know you're gonna be pulling your liquor out you don't want to be pulling out that bottle of crown royal or that bottle of hennessy just straight you want to pour it in something it will make the bougie go 10 times higher i feel like i'm making this like a bougie christmas list but I mean, who just doesn't want to feel a little bougie sometimes? And you definitely don't have to get this for like a man or a woman. I feel like they definitely could be interchanged just depending on what that person is interested in. Okay, the last thing I'm going to add to this list, it still kind of goes with the drinking category, but it can be for anything, is definitely a Yeti cup. I personally ordered my own Yeti cup off the Yeti website, but if you do that, that's gonna take a little minute. The point of this is we are late for Christmas, but we gotta get it, we gotta get it fast. So Amazon does definitely have Yeti cups in all different colors. I personally love and adore my huge 32 ounce one. I like to put water in it. I like to put my coffee in it. Either way, it keeps it super cold. It keeps it super hot. Great regardless. Again, this is something that I feel like it's not crazy expensive, but it's just a little much for the everyday person probably spending to drink out of their cup. I personally have the black one. Love that one. The white one is also super cute. So if you do have someone who maybe is on the go, they're not as fortunate to be able to work from home, this will be something really good for them. But all right, those are all the items I have. I think I had about over 20 items. It definitely will have said it in the thumbnail by now. But yeah, over 20 items. These are all things that either A, I have, I love, or B, I would love to have, or I do know someone with it and I may be a little envious. But these are just my ideas. Y'all need to hurry up, go get your family those gifts, but don't feel bad. It's 2020, you know, they will understand if it comes late. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a happy, happy holiday. If you are not subscribed and you kind of like me like a little bit, check out my channel if you have never seen me before. I do a lot of fashion content. I'm a big, big thrifter. Um, obviously I do this right here i have to but yeah if you like any of that or are interested definitely go check me out don't forget to like this video if this was at all helpful because i want to know if this was helpful like because if it's not like why do it again <laughs> you know but anyways that is the end of this video and i will see you guys next time on my channel